Hey everybody, it's Luke of our Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Backbone. This is the Backbone 1 for Android, the PlayStation Edition. Now this is going to be compatible with Xbox Game Pass, of course, PlayStation uh, Remote Play, and of course Steam Link, and things like that. Also, any native Android a game that supports a controller, you'll be able to use this with as well. So this is basically going to be able to turn your Android phone into a portable gaming station. We're going to dig into it now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is everything that you get. Once you get it out of the box, you're going to get a little card here, and this has a QR code to download the Backbone app if you would like to do that. It's kind of an all-in-one hub that kind of uh, you can launch all your games from, uh, and it is pretty nice. We'll look into that in just a little bit. You do get a safety guide here, uh, so you can check that out if you need to as well. As for the device, uh, the height on it is 3.70 inches. It, the width is uh, going to be 6.94 inches while it's closed and extended up to 10.14 inches. So it will uh, actually accommodate a very large phones. I have an S23 Ultra from Samsung that I will be testing with this. Uh, the depth is 1.28 inches and only weighs 4.87 ounces by itself. Now you can see we've got the PlayStation Edition, so we do have those PlayStation buttons there. Uh, on the bottom, under the D-pad, you've got a capture button for capturing, and then that uh, three-dot button is a mute button when you double-press it. Uh, you do have the Backbone button for your Backbone app, and then you do have your menu button as well. Uh, the buttons feel quite nice on this, and I'll, I'll let you take a listen to them in just a little bit. Uh, we also have our R1, R2, L1, and L2 buttons here. Uh, overall, this doesn't really have a lot of flex to it. On the bottom, we do have a, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, four wired headphones, and you do have a pass-through USB Type-C port for charging your device while it's in the controller, uh, so you don't have to worry about uh, running out of battery. Now this does connect via USB Type-C, so it's not going to draw a lot of battery power anyway, but it's nice to have a pass-through charging port as well. Uh, also, that USB Type-C can be outputted to a larger display, uh, such as a tablet or something like that, and you can use the controller standalone to game on a larger screen device. So as you could hear, the buttons had that nice clicky feel to them, uh, so that worked out really, really nice. Uh, what I'm going to do now is get my S23 Ultra, and as you can see, it telescoped open no problems, and it is very solid when it is in the device. Uh, it runs uh, direct off that USB Type-C, so there's little to no latency whatsoever. I can totally control my phone with this uh, any way that I would like, uh, and it does a good job at keeping everything in a my hand. It feels good in the hand too, uh, nice and solid. So the first thing we're going to take a look at you know, will be uh, PS Remote Play real quick uh, because this is the PlayStation Edition. So let's take a look at PS Remote Play and uh, we'll get connected up to my PlayStation. And uh, we can see that uh, this will work very, very well depending on what you're trying to play. So now I'm connected here to my PlayStation. I don't have a lot of things installed at the moment, uh, but let's just jump into something here uh, and maybe Hogwarts Legacy. And you can see that we will have a, a totally uh, you know, mobile experience here with Remote Play. And Remote Play works really well on this, uh, especially if you have a strong signal. You can use this over uh, your data connection as well. Uh, and as long as you have a strong data connection, you should be pretty good to go. Uh, but you can see here that uh, between button uh, latency and things like that, as I run around this room real quick, uh, that you're not going to have any latency problems with uh, this connected uh, on your 
Wi-Fi network. So you can see as I'm shifting and turning here, I literally have zero latency. This is over Wi-Fi, of course. Again, if you have a strong data connection, you're going to have no problems with this either. It doesn't stop with just PS Remote Play. We can do Game Pass. So if you're a Game Pass Ultimate subscriber or something like that, uh, you're going to be able to do cloud gaming uh, through Game Pass. Uh, no problems with this either. Uh, even though it is the PlayStation Edition, this will work perfectly fine uh, with uh, Xbox Game Pass as well, which is a nice feature to have. Uh, so let's load up uh, something here like Forza Horizon 5 uh, and just see how well well, uh, everything works with this uh, so that you guys can get a good idea of how well the Backbone One does. So you can see no problem with cloud gaming over Xbox Game Pass. Now Backbone has their own app as well. And you can see it kind of keeps everything in one centralized hub. I've got some local games from the Play Store like Oxenfree 2, uh, Game Pass, PS Remote Play. And I can launch them all from the app itself. And you can, of course, view all of your games here. It's got news about uh, Backbone's. Uh, news and other gaming news as well uh, as PS Remote Play games and suggestions, uh, things that are popular on Backbone like Diablo Immortal, uh, Call of Duty Mobile, uh, things like that. Uh, dead cells, all of those uh, you can see, it, and it'll show you which uh, applications you would play those on when you select them, which kind of helps out too a little bit. So it's an all-in-one hub here that works out really, really well uh, for keeping all of your information together. Now, if we want to go in and play, say, a native game or something like that, we can. Uh, you also have, of course, all of your uh, stats up at the top, uh, your battery stats, things like that. I have Oxenfree uh, 2 here. It's a, a native Android game, and it'll automatically launch it from within the Backbone app, which really makes it, again, uh, kind of nice to have everything all in one place. So uh, playing games that support controllers uh, are going to be no problems, even if they're native Android games. Uh, and this will go and be the same for iOS as well. Uh, so you'll have all of that there. Uh, and everything works out just fine. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about is using the controller without your phone. You can use this as a wired controller. I have a, a tablet here. This is a 12.4 inch uh, S9 Plus from Samsung, and I'm just going to plug this in straight in as a USB type C and you can see I've automatically got this controlled and ready to go so if I want to play uh, play PS remote play here uh, no problems whatsoever being able to do this just using it as a controller as well and you can see I can cycle through uh, maybe we'll check out some Astros uh, playroom or something like that and uh, see how it does Okay, so here we are in uh,
So there you go. That is my review of the Backbone 1 for Android PlayStation Edition. Uh, this is a really great device to have if you want to turn your phone into a portable gaming kind of powerhouse, really, being able to leverage things like PS Remote Play, uh, Xbox Game Pass, Steam Link, uh, and, of course, native uh, games for Android or iOS, depending on the version that you get. Overall, the construction is really nice. The uh, triggers and buttons feel really good while you're playing it. And then, of course, more importantly, the device feels nice and sturdy while it's in the controller as well. So they did a really good job on the whole build and fit and finish. I like the fact that I have pass-through charging on this, and I also like that I can hook this up as a wired controller for a larger devices with larger screens. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope you enjoyed my review, and I'll check you guys out on the next one.